My name is Albert Murray, and I will be hosting our Fast Track training here this evening. I am super excited to be before you. Um, I've been involved with this awesome company since January of last year, 2018. I'll be coming up on my anniversary on the 24th, and super excited about that. I just want to tell you guys that uh, this is a phenomenal business that we all are a part of. And for those of you that are new to the webinar, just joining the business, I want to assure you that you're in the right place at the right time. Because I tell you, uh, this team, Wealth Builders Worldwide, is one of the most phenomenal teams that I've ever been involved with. I've been involved in this industry for double digit years. I've had tremendous amounts of success, uh, rookie of the year, uh, trainer of the month, um, largest, you know, just, just, a lot, a lot of accolades, and I don't want to toot my own horn, but I just want to, I just share that with you so that you can understand how and what qualifies me to say that this is a tremendous opportunity because I've been involved in a few and I've had successes in, in just about every company that I've been involved with. And uh, the leadership here is impeccable when you talk about um, being able to work from and glean from a, an International Network Marketing Hall of Famer like Mr. Ty Best to uh, being able to pick up the phone and call someone like Mr. Mike Dalco, um, one of the top, top and most successful affiliates in this entire company. When you're able to talk to folks like, you know, Dr. Sergio Rizel, you know, Rodney Roach, you know, my partners that you see in front of me, um, Lewis Young and Steve Coach, just a tremendous amount of leadership here, folks. And I'm just super excited to be before you. And, you know, I don't consider it um, you know, myself that has led me to a lot of the success is really just being systemic and following the systems. And one of the things that drew me to this company, I remember Mr. Uh, Lewis Young, you know, when he called me and he said, you know, Mr. Murray, this company, they follow the system. They know the system, you know, and that was super important. That was something that I needed to know because I couldn't get involved with something that I was going to have to recreate the will. And that's what I love is that you know, you can go to wealthbuildersworldwide.info or .net and you can just find the system and how we are creating wealth, not only here in the United States, but all across the world. My partners and I, you can see here, uh, we've been, we are Gladiator Award winners. Uh, we've hit, you know, the director level, which is the top of this company. Um, actually, in about three months time, we were able to hit bronze and silver. But then uh, in about eight to nine months time, we were able to actually hit the pinnacle, uh, which is gold director. And, uh, you know, Lewis Young and, and, and Stephen Coates, so much I uh, look up to them because they've actually been able to hit even, even one step further. And by creating a gold director, they were each were able to hit the level of gold director elite. You know, this team is just growing so fast. We've got people like Dominic Curry, who was able to come on board and and go to Gold Director in just three months time. So I just share this with you folks, not again to be braggadocious, but just to really impress upon you the importance of following the systems here, because as we get better at learning the systems and more importantly, teaching them to others, we'll, we're able to have the, the amount of success that we're looking for folks. So what I wanna do here is just do um, something that, you know, a little bit different and, uh, we're going to elaborate on a few things. We've got a lot of trainings that go on throughout the weeks, um, a lot of training calls, a lot of fast track training, trainings that go on as well. And uh, we're going to focus on some things that have been able to help not just me, but my, the entire team that we're a part of, um, the union, um, have some success and have some, some, some great successes. So what I want to do today is we're going to focus on the importance of the list. We're going to talk about edifications, edification and three-way phone calls. So again, my name is Al Murray. They call me Mr. Busting Loose, and that's because we're busting loose from this current system of debt, folks. And again, I'm just excited to be before you just sharing this information. So what I want to do is as we go, what you want to do is get off to a fast start. And the way you do that is by selecting your business package. You need to get that business package, select which one works for you. I mean, there are so many of us that, that choose the highest level in this company. If you are a part of this company already and you have a VIP package, please just type VIP in the chat room so that folks can just see that we have a plethora of folks at the top of this company. But understand this, 
Don't be ashamed if you can't get a VIP package. Get in where you fit in. That's the main thing. I didn't start out as a VIP, okay? I started out as a silver. I took advantage of the systems and earned the fast five and five fast track training bonus and got a free promotion. I'll tell you what, had I known that I could have done it twice, I would have done it twice, okay? So here's the thing. Get that fast, get your business package straight away, and then do this. Number two, get your KYC documents done. KYC is very simple. It stands for know your customer. This company wants to get to know you, okay? So uh, definitely take care of that. It's very easy. It's just a matter of uploading the, uh, your driver's license and a utility bill, if you will. You want to make sure that it, they're in color and that you can see all four corners of the document as you upload it. Please make sure that your driver's license, your, your, your address that you're putting on the app, that you put on the application to get started, and uh, the utility bill match. And uh, you can get back to the person that brought you on board to explain a little bit more uh, and go into more in, in, in depth with you with respects to your KYC documents. Next, you wanna order your MasterCard, okay? That's so important because that's the vehicle in which we get paid. This company is gonna, you, you're, you're able to get a MasterCard based upon your signature and want. It's not even tied to your social security number. We get paid in euros on that MasterCard. And I'm telling you, I'm super excited about that because euros are more valuable than the US dollar. So we're working with an international company, an international currency, and we also get paid in gold, which is even more phenomenal. I'll tell you, the more and more I hear about this company, it just gets better and better and better. Next, you wanna set up your auto exchange. You know, folks that are part of this awesome team, Wealth Builders Worldwide, we're, we're called Wealth Builders Worldwide because we're helping people attain wealth and we've got systems. So one of the things, that, so, the, so the fourth thing you want to do is set up that auto exchange in your back office. Now, in lieu of time, we're going to go through some other things and I'm not going to go specifically to those areas and show you how to do that, but you can get back to the person that got you started and they will walk you through how to get this done. But we acquire, we exchange fiat currency, okay? for at least one gram of gold every single month. That's what we do as a team. We commit to doing that. And that's the very first wealth principle is paying yourself first. And that's what we do. We exchange that fiat currency for a real asset and that asset being gold. So I'm super, super excited again. And as I shared with you a little earlier, the first rule of thumb, the first goal that you have is to get five and five uh, carrot fast track training bonus. That's what you want to achieve. And the way you do that is by helping five affiliates in your first five weeks get a business package at your level or higher, and you get a free promotion to the next level. So again, your first, let's just say your first two weeks, you come in as a silver, okay? And then your first two weeks, you help five people get started at the silver level or higher, you get a promotion to the gold level. And then at the gold level, you've got three weeks left. So you help um, you know, five more people get started there, at the uh, gold level and you earn a promotion to the VIP level, folks. It's incredible, okay? So let's make sure that we're taking advantage of this. Now, I gotta tell you where we get all of the information. We're talking a lot about being systemic and following the system. Well, this is where you go to learn the system, folks. Wealthbuildersworldwide.info or wealthbuildersworldwide.net. It doesn't matter. matter. You're gonna have to go to that website. You're gonna register. Just put in your email address and a password, what have you. Log in. And the first thing I'm telling you, before you even peruse that website, you want to go through and look at the map. The map stands for Massive Action Plan. And that's what we want you to have, folks. That's the purpose of this training is to help get you in profit mode and help you make have massive action. OK, we want to help you take massive action. And then just peruse the site so you know what else is on that site. It's a plethora of information, uh, forms, and things that are like that will help you build your business. Now, again, as a note, Wealth Builders Worldwide, as a team member, we commit to acquiring one gram of gold every single month, at least one gram. We've got folks getting one gram, two grams, three grams, five grams a week, but at least one gram per month, folks. And then five to 10 transactions per month five to 10 transactions, that's basically contracts. What that means is that you're helping somebody else. You're sharing this wealth system with somebody else and you're, and you're, you're able to create. Remember, you're, you've just started a business. So these are some of the requirements of having success within your business. Acquire that gram of gold, five to 10 transactions uh, every single month or contracts, if you will. 
Next, we're going to talk about the list, folks, because you can't do anything in this business without a list, okay? Now, when you talk about a list, this is my second list, okay? This is my second list. This is about 100 and some odd names. I had 300 names on my very first list. Um, this list, and it's hard for me to get to this list, folks, because of the way we work, tap, the way we tap root and help other people produce their list. Sometimes it's hard for you to get to yours, uh, but we, that's a whole nother training. But understand this, folks, the list is super important. It's usually the first mistake that you're going to make in business. OK, a lot of times we try to go to our phone. You know, you've got five gems in your phone. Who are you contacting? OK, so put those names on a list. Keep track of them. All right. Next, the, the list is the preparation for your grand opening. What business do you know that opens up that doesn't have a grand opening? You want to launch your business. You want to blow it to the roof. You want to have a grand opening, folks. Now, it's your inventory. Your list is your inventory for your grand opening. Now, just think about it. What business would you open up? Just think of a grocery store opening up and not putting groceries on the shelves, okay? Not filling up the shelves and the freezers within that, in that, within that store. Think of a, a, a dealership, a car dealership, opening up his doors and not having any cars in the lot, okay? How many cars do you want in your lot? You want many cars, various colors, okay? Various models, all right? You want, that's, this is your inventory. So take it serious, seriously, folks. If I was to guess and to say who was gonna have the most success in this business, it would be the person that had the largest list. Because when you have a list, you can hold a certain posture about yourself. You really, it doesn't matter to you now. It doesn't have to be personal when a person decides whether they're going to get started or not or whether they're going to look at the, the video or not because you've got so many people on that list to choose from. And remember, all we're doing is sharing the information. We don't take it personal, okay? And anyway, a no means not right now. So understand this, folks. It's designed for duplication. It continuously grows through prospecting. So again, you're out. You, we're prospecting one or three people a day based upon the time that you have. Okay, so it's a living document, it's growing, it's every single day, and it's exciting, folks, when you can implement these systems into your business. It's often the reason why your business underperforms, because you haven't taken this part of the business very, very serious, all right? It allows your sponsor to work with you. It allows your sponsor to work with you. So what you want to do is make sure that once you get your list together, that you get your sponsor a copy of that list. It's important. Make sure that they have a copy of your list, folks. So listen, this is the list right here. This is what we call our Gladiators Club form. You can find it on that website that we talked about a little bit earlier today. The, um, I mean, just a few slides back, wealthbuildersworldwide.info or wealthbuildersworldwide.net. In the forms, you'll find a plethora of forms there, but this Gladiators Club form, you can find it there. And again, this form grows every day okay, by prospecting one to three people, and you also want to send this out. You'll find on that website also um, a new affiliate welcome letter. So you include this in as an attachment with that welcome letter so that you can help your new people put their list together. So I want you to grab pen and paper, folks, and take this exercise very serious because this could literally lead to your success or it could lead to you underperforming within your business. And none of us want to underperform. So please grab a pen and paper, folks. It is super important. Um, next time you get on this call, you want to make sure, especially if I'm doing the training, you want to make sure that you have a Gladiators Club form right in front of you and make sure that your team members, members come armed with the Gladiators Club form to this, to, to this particular training. So understand this, folks, with pen in hand, and, and, and on paper, I need you guys to focus on the top 20 people that you know that could have success with this particular opportunity. The top 20 people. Just start writing. You should just be writing names down right now. We don't want to write down telephone numbers. We're going to come back and put the telephone numbers just in lieu of time, okay? So put the names. We want the, the first person. Who's that person that you know that if they saw the value of this opportunity, that they would be ready to get started? Put them on the list. 20, your top 20 people. OK, you're not wondering you don't you, you want you are not making the decision for them. You want to put the name on the list. Let them see the information like you saw it so they can make an honest decision for themselves. So don't prejudge the list. Who are the top people, you know? All right. Think about your mother and your father, your mother. If you're fortunate enough to have a mother, your mother and your father still alive, put them on the list. They should know what you're doing. You can't expect anybody to join your business if you aren't willing to share with them what it is. 
So put your mother and your father on the list. Put your mother and father-in-law, your in-laws on the list. If you're fortunate enough to have your grandparents, put them down as well. Understand this, I have my mother, my, 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 my father, my mother-in-law, my brothers, my um, children, my wife, my, I got aunts and uncles, cousins, people I worship with, fraternity brothers, all a part of this opportunity, I share it with all of them. And I share it in the same way every time and I allow them to make a decision for themselves. You should, you should have pen to paper and you should be writing right now. Your children, put them on the list. Your brothers and sisters, put them on the list. Aunts and uncles, they should, they should support your business. Think about how noble it is to exchange cash, cash, fiat currency for real gold, folks. Everybody should be doing this in your family. Your cousins, your nieces and nephews. One of my most successful affiliates right now, you know, that I'm super excited about, she, got, she was introduced to this company by her uncle. So put your nieces and nephews down. Who are your friends and neighbors? Put them down, their names. We're just right. working with names right now. Yes, sir. Let me, let me stop you for a half a second. This is so good. Guys, those of you in the chat room, give me some plus signs for Al Murray. Look, I talk to people all the time. When you, I feel like Mr. Best right now. Every time I listen to other trainers train, it fires me up. It makes me just want to train because you pick up some things you just didn't think about before. I hear people say, I only got 27 names in my phone. You got 27 people in your family. Stop. See what we're doing, guys. I almost want to shut down the train right now. I'm so fired up. I feel like I can train all over again to start help. That right there, as long as I've known that simple training concept, you just blew my head up. I just, you just messed me up. Look. When people say they don't, they can't think of 20 people, they excluded their family. I guarantee you they did because they said my family's not going to do it. What's so amazing about that is you, ladies and gentlemen, are someone's family. What if they say that about you? You're trying to prejudge even your own. Man, this is so good. I'm sorry to, to interrupt that. I'm not, I'm not going to do it again, but try to, try to calm down your dynamic training, bro, so I can get through this. Guys, yes, guys, put your family on your list. <laughs> you got to put your family on your thank list. You, because Mr. One, Outstanding, man. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. One thing that I will promise you and my family is that they will not come back and see that I've made, earned income through this wealth system and not shared it with them. They won't say, well, Al, why didn't you tell me? They're not good. They, they, they will not be able to say that because I, I, not only am I going to tell them once, but I'm going to tell them more than once because I'm going to continue to follow up with them. And that's why this list is so important. So let's continue with the list, folks. Let's put these names down. Think about your classmates. OK, former co-workers. Think about people in your hometown. People that you know that were part of the military that you served with. Listen, follow your money. Who's your barber? You know, my barber has a 3,000 K package in his business. He has a silver package. He, he, he invested 3,000 euros in the KBC. That's my barber. I go to him once, twice, three times, four times a month, whenever I feel like it's time to get right. So follow your money. Who's your beautician? Who's your barber? Who's your grocery? Who is your insurance provider? Who sold you your insurance policy? Mr. Murray, go back one more time and talk about the family. I was not recording. I just started record. Please reiterate the importance of putting your family on your list. Please go back to that and I promise you I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> no problem at all, sir. You've got to put your family on your list, okay? Because your family, the, your family they want to support you. And, and if you really believe in the product and the service that you're offering, now who doesn't believe in the value of owning gold? I mean, you know, so if you believe in what you're doing, you will share it with any and everybody. So it starts with the, those that you know, like, and love the most. And who better than your family? So you put your mother and your father on the list. They'll support you, okay? They, they're looking for things. These folks, your grandparents, your mother, your, your in-laws, they're looking for vehicles in which to leave their family members wealth and inheritance for their children's children, okay? So this could be gold coming back to you and your children but you gotta let them know. So put your mother and your father on the list. Put your mother-in-law, your, your, mother your father-in-law on the list, your grandparents. 
your children. My children are involved. They have packages, coins, and acquire gold, okay? Your brothers, your sisters, both of my brothers are involved in this, this company, okay? They have packages, coins. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you folks, tell everybody, uncles, cousins, nieces, and nephews, all right? And as I said a little earlier, one young lady that lives in the Atlanta area, I won't say her name, Miss Logan, but uh, her uncle invited her to this opportunity and she is tearing it up. All right. So definitely you got to make sure that you're letting your family members know, you know, your fraternity brothers, your sorority sisters, you know, folks that you're, you're, you're in, the, you know, in the Masons, you know, let everybody know what you're doing. But understand this, folks, you got to start thinking outside of your marketplace because 20 percent of your business should be within your local locality, but 80, 80 percent of it should be outside. So you've got to start thinking about your neighboring states here in the United in, in the DMV. OK, so I'm thinking about who do I know? I live in Maryland. Who do I know in D.C.? Who do I know in Northern Virginia? Who do I know in Delaware? These are states that are in driving distance. So put those folks. Who do you know in the surrounding states? Who do you know in D.C.? Who do you know in Maryland? When you see these briefings come up in these meetings, you need to not only ask yourself, but your teammates, who do you know in these areas? You should be writing, your pen should be moving. You should be putting names and numbers down on your list. Let me check the time, because I know I only got an hour, because I could, I could do an hour just on this list alone, folks, because the more and the more, I have a memory jogger. That's what I use, a memory jogger, to help folks put their list together. And it's important that you do that. Lawyer, who's your attorney? Who's your doctor? Okay, there are doctors and attorneys that get involved in this. Who do you know that's an accountant? Okay, who do you know that's in advertising? Who do you know that's in the Air Force? You should be writing down names right now. Okay, who do you know that's involved in management? Who do you know that, um, that sells mortgages, that offers mortgages to folks? Who do you know? Who do you know? Who's your dentist? Follow your money. I'm telling you, follow your money. So let's think about some other localities. Who do you know in Alabama? Who do you know in Michigan? Who do you know in Atlanta, Georgia, South Carolina, New York? These are markets that I know that are being built up and you should, you gotta ask your team, who do you know in these spots? Okay, because when you work these numbers and you work it through your team, you increase the exponentially your ability to be able to penetrate these different markets. Who do you know in Ohio? Who do you know in Pennsylvania, Virginia, Maryland? We have a free briefing that goes on every single Monday right here in the Waldorf, Maryland area. Thanks to Mr. Lewis Young who covers the cost. Every last person on this call right now should be trying to figure out who they know within driving distance to Waldorf, Maryland to get to that meeting. <laughs> I hope y'all are hearing me now, okay? So listen, everybody that you know goes on a list, okay? You don't prejudge. That's the reason why people say, I only have 27 people, because they're prejudging. They're thinking this person won't wanna, won't wanna do the business. So what you gotta do is you have to make sure that you are just exposing the information to people, not getting involved in what their response is. You don't get involved emotionally, okay? So now let's just move on to the next thing. What do we do with our list? What we're gonna do is you're going to identify your prospects as reds, greens, and blues, okay? And the reason you do that's because it, it defines how you're gonna approach them. If you're gonna use a direct approach, something like, hey, John, I'm super excited. I just came across a tremendous business. Listen, I got a video I wanna share with you. It's only gonna take about 10 minutes. You think you can watch that video by 1230? Absolutely, I can, great. Well, listen, I'm gonna shoot you the link. You take a look at that video and I'll call you back about 12.30. Boom, simple as that. Just a quick exposure. You want to do a third party, all right? So make the call. Be excited, okay? Uh, indirect approach would be asking for someone's opinion, okay? Listen, I, I just got involved with a tremendous business. Another business owner that I, that I respect shared a business with me. I'd like to get your opinion on it. I got a video I'd like to share with you. You may or may not be interested. It takes them off the hook. It'll, but it'll only take a few minutes of your time. Do you mind giving me your opinion? Sure, great, I'll give you my opinion on it. Well, listen, I'm gonna shoot you this video. It's like I said, it's only about 10 minutes time. Can I call you back by 12.30? You think you could watch it by 12.30, sir? Boom, and then you call them back at about 10, 
he call, I'm calling him back at about 12 o'clock and I'm, and, I'm, and I'm texting him. Matter of fact, I'm texting him, hey, listen, I got caught up in a meeting, but I will call you back at 1230. That gives them another 30 minutes to take a look at the video if they haven't. OK, so again, you know, we got we got the landing page on Wealth, uh, wealth Builders Worldwide. You also have landing pages within your Facebook, uh, within the uh, your, your carrot bars and, and carrot gold SG sites. I like that landing page on the bottom of the SG site. It, it's a short video, about eight minutes. It piques the interest, a little bit about the company, a little bit about gold, a little bit about crypto. And it's designed for questions because next you want to get them onto a three way phone call, folks. All right. And again, when you're making a call, be excited. Smile when you're talking. OK, because nobody wants to talk to somebody drab. All right. And also be on the move. Listen, I'm glad I caught you. I was running out the door. All right. Again, begin with the end in mind. We want to uh, overcome objections before they arise. And what we're doing is now you want to answer questions by saying, I don't have a lot of time. OK, so that's what you're telling them up front. So, you know, I don't have a whole lot of time. I got somebody, an expert that I'm going to put you on the phone with. Take a look that video, edify the video, edify the tool that you're sharing them with, sharing with them and let them know that they'll get all of the information from that. OK, get the commitment, be specific on what you're doing. This is when you call them back. Get off of the phone. This is one thing that we do when we start talking, to, contacting and inviting. OK, so I'm kind of moving into, you know, moving into the three way phone call here. OK. You want to get off of the phone when the appointment is set, okay? Because once you get your, get off, when you when your expert is finished talking, you know this person. So the person gonna say, "Okay, tell me the real deal." Well, the expert just told you the real deal, okay? So confirm everything by text, folks. And again, a red is somebody that you look up to. Use an indirect approach. I like to get your opinion. Greens are peers. Um, you want to use. You can use direct or indir indirect approach. Blues, these are people that look up to you, usually a direct approach. I need you to take a look at direct. OK, so that's how we want to qualify our list. Now, next, um, you want to edification. Edification is everything, folks. We need to be respectful of folks. We need to make sure that we're building up people around us. We need to show respect for those that brought us into the business, those that are having success. And edification creates and builds respect. That's what it does. It's just simply saying something good about somebody. Now understand, I'm sharing some parameters with you. And you know, you know, if, if I was edifying uh, Mr. Dalco, I could say, hey, listen, Mr. Dalco glow, glows in the dark and walks on water. Okay, that's edification. All right. So, but understand this. And during the edification process, we like to use we like to hit the personality traits. So you got a fall personality. This is a person that likes the facts, okay? They, they, they're a facts-driven person, maybe an accountant, a lawyer, something like that. They're very analytical. The spring is somebody that likes to help, okay? So these are helpers, helpers. maybe your, your pastors, people that are in customer service positions and things of that like. Okay, so these are your springs. Then your summers, these are people that like to have fun, okay? They, they're joking all the time. They like to have fun, maybe, you know, spending the time at the bar or whatever. They like, they're always, they're the life of the party. These are your summer type of folks, okay? And then your winners, these are your sharks. These are your people that are money motivated, okay? So again, when you're talking to folks, you want to talk to them from a standpoint in which they are familiar, something that means a lot to them. If you're talking to somebody that's a, a facts-driven person, okay, they don't necessarily want to hear about all of the money that people are making. OK, so when we're doing the edification and leading into the three way phone call, folks, and a three way phone call is designed to help you. We're going to go into that in just a few moments. But this is the way I would do the edification. If I was edifying Mr. Dalco, I would say, listen, I'm about to put you on the phone with a gentleman that knows 110 percent of the facts. He loves to help people. He likes having a ton of fun. But make no mistake, he's building a powerhouse international business and he's making a ton of money. Now, you might leave the money out of it, okay? But he's building a powerhouse business. But this is what I love about him most. While he's extremely busy, he always takes at least one minute of his time to help me build my business. So hold while I get him on the line. Boop, I put him on hold and I make the phone call, okay? So this is the thing this is where so many of us get caught up when we do three-way phone calls because you're waiting for an answer we're asking them do you want to talk to my expert no i'm not asking what i'm doing is i'm making a statement and i'm actually giving you a command 
He's extremely busy. Hold while I get him on the line. That's a, that's a command. Hold. I'm telling you to hold. I'm not asking you, do you want to hold? So we ask at the wrong times, okay? And sometimes we get stuff that, they, that we don't want. But it's okay, because if you know how to get back into it, and we're going to talk about that as well, trying to be mindful of the time, okay? So let's move forward, okay? I want to help you understand how to do an effective three-way phone call. All right, tips. First tip, call your expert first. So call them up. I'm going to call up Mr. Dalco. I'm going to call up Mr. Young. I'm going to call up uh, Mr. Amazing Rodney Roach. And I'm going to ask a couple of folks, listen, I'm about to go through my list and make some phone calls um, probably for the next hour, hour and a half. Are you available for three ways? Or I'm going to be doing some follow-ups. See, because the follow-ups, you know, you've already made the call, introduced them to the video, and now you're following up to see what they like best about what they heard or saw on the video. Understand what I just said. I'm not asking them what did you think about what you saw, okay, because they might say you don't know what you're going to get there. I'm directing to what I want. I want, a, I want something positive about what you heard or saw because that gives me somewhere to start in the recruiting process after the person has already watched the, um, the, 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 the tool that I've shared with them, okay? So again, call the, call the expert, call the several experts so you make sure that you got somebody that you can get in contact with. All right. And then um, follow your expert's instructions and get off of the phone. All right. Once the, once the three way is done. So now this is you. So what you're going to do is you're going to call your expert first. Don't interrupt the expert while he's talking. OK. Thank the expert after the appointment is set. OK. So after the appointment is set. So what this means is you need to convey to the person that's doing your three way, your expert, what it is, what your objective is through the three way phone call. First, and foremost, make sure that you understand that your expert is not God. So they're not going to be able to make somebody do something that they don't want to do. Okay. So, but, but your expert is there to answer any questions and help you move your person to the next exposure. That's what the expert is for. Okay. So now this is why we do the three-way phone call in the first place, folks. Okay. There's trust between you and your prospect. If this is your aunt, your uncle, your cousin. Okay. If this is somebody that you just met on the street, and prospect it, okay? This person is on a first name basis, but they trusted you enough to share their information with you. So there's some trust here, right? Okay, now what we're trying to build is respect between your prospect and your expert. And the way that we get this, this, this respect is through your edification. You have to edify your expert. So again, your expert is on a last name basis. I don't care if this is Dr. Smith. OK, well, they, they can be Dr. Smith. If you want to give them that respect. But if they're not a doctor, they don't have a title like that. Then they're John. They're Tom. They're on a first name basis. And my expert, this is Mr. Dalco. This is Mr. Amazing. This is Mr. Young. This is Mr. Coates. OK. And again, you know, 110 percent of the facts, they love to help people, love to have fun, love to um, they're building a powerhouse business around the world. But listen, what I love about them most is they, that even the fact that they're so busy. They always take a few moments just to help me build my business. So hold for a second a while, see if I can get one minute of his time. Boom. Okay. That's the piece right there. And this is where we're getting hung up because we say, yeah, I got somebody I want you to talk to. Um, you mind talking to? Yeah, they know. Well, no, why don't you tell me about it? And then you start running your mouth. Okay. No, third party. We let the videos do the talking. We let the presentation do the talking and we let our expert do the talking. Okay. So now your expert already knows what it is that you're looking for. How does it sound when I answer, when, when, you're, when your sponsor or your expert answers the phone and they're talking to your prospect? And the first thing I'm going to say is, hey, John, what did you like best about what you heard or saw on the video? Oh, I like the money. I like the money. You know, I like the fact that I can save in gold and, and even make money by helping other people earn, earn um, income, and I, that I can earn income by helping other people make gold. So I'm going to say, well, listen, John, that's something that I like, to, like about it myself. But before I kind of get into answering any of your questions, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Al Murray. I'm a local business owner here in the Southern Maryland area. And I'm extremely excited about this company that has that, that um, Miss Logan and I have aligned ourselves with that's been in business since 2011. So John, you said you said you said that you like the money. Did you understand everything that you heard or saw on the video? Well, no, I um, 
Yeah, I, 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 no, yeah, I, I think I understood everything, but I got some questions. Great. Well, look, let me answer a couple questions for you. Okay. Well, how do we make? How do? Um, how? Where does the gold come from? Uh, well, listen, the gold comes from an LBMA certified um, refinery. Really? Oh, well, how does that work? Well, listen, what you're gonna need to do, we're gonna, I'm gonna be hosting a webinar this weekend, this Tuesday and Thursday. And John, I, John, I'm, I'm extremely busy, and I definitely wanted to give you, pay you some respect and answer some of your questions. But what I would like to do is really invite you out to this Monday night briefing or this Tuesday night uh, webinar, and this way you can get the facts. You can get all of the facts, John. And um, at the conclusion of that webinar or that meeting, you'll be able to make an informed decision as to whether this will be as beneficial for your family as it has been for Miss Logan and mine. Does that sound fair? Well, absolutely. Well, listen, Miss Logan, um, would you mind shooting the link to the webinar or shooting the address to John so that he can be promptly, promptly there at 7.30? Hey, listen, John, I look forward to talking to you on that webinar or meeting you personally and personally shaking your hand this Monday night. Great. Okay. And listen, before I let you go, John, um, I just want to let you know, I don't know how you know Ms. Logan, but Ms. Logan is doing a phenomenal job in this business. Listen, third party. Okay. And I'm, re I'm edifying Ms. Logan now. Okay. The affiliate, right? So, but she's doing a phenomenal job helping folks build a business. So you should really feel pleasured and honored that she's walking you through this process. Well, listen, John, I look forward to meeting you Monday. You guys have a good day. Thanks and God bless. So I'm letting them go. Boom. So we just, so now you just let the expert close your objective, which was moving your affiliate who just watched the video information to the next level. Now, you can do so many things with the three-way phone call. It can be used in many different ways as well. So say, let's just say they've looked at the first and second and maybe even the third video on the Wealth Builders Worldwide landing page. Now, what I want to know is I want to know that you, I want to know that you, did you understand everything? Do you have any questions? And are you ready to join the team? That's where I'm, that's where I'm going with the clothes <laughs> as the expert. Okay. So, uh, and that's kind of how we'll move things along at the briefing when you're actually working with your affiliate and things that are like. So with that, folks, I'm looking at the time. I don't want to rush too fast. And I get excited by sharing this information. But I want to go over with you really quick um, a couple of um, transitions and a way to transition in the three-way if you get stuck. Okay, one of the best ways to overcome any objections in this business is to use feel, felt, found. I understand how you feel. I felt the same way, but let me share with you what I found. I found that when I was able to uh, talk to Mr. Young, my expert, he was able to clear things up for me. Hold on for a second while I get him on the line. Now, see, that's the second time. So you're in this predicament because you didn't move and click the button and move on to the three-way. So now you're in a situation where you're answering questions. Okay, your prospect, your, the person is, is now, well, why don't you tell me about it? You know, well, well, why can't you tell me? This is your business, right? Why can't you tell me about it? Why do you need somebody else? And now all of a sudden it's getting defensive, you're getting defensive, and you've got to overcome all of this other stuff. So listen, feel, feel found. The first thing is, I understand how you feel. That lets them come down a little bit. That calms the whole situation a little bit. All right. So they calm down a little bit. What we do as amateurs in this business is a lot of times we attack people because they don't see it the way we saw it as quickly as we see it. This is a process. And we move people from A to Z through the process. All right. So we're not so much concerned that they see it right now. We just want to move them to the next exposure, the next step in the process. So I understand how you feel. I felt the same way. But let me share with you what I found. Again. Well, listen, um, well, man, these are things that, you know, I'm, is this one of those pyramid things? You know, I don't really like to get involved with these kind of, these pyramid things, you know. Well, listen, that's the exact reason why you need to speak to Mr. Murray. I throw that back on him real quick. Well, then when they give you an excuse, that's the exact reason why you need to talk to Mr. Dalco. Hold on for a second while I see if I can get him on the line. Boop. All right. And then here's the thing for you new affiliates. I was advised not to answer any questions. That's Mr. Coach's job. He's the expert. Again, he's extremely busy 
hold while I see if I can get one minute of his time. And understand, one minute of his time is so that, which is the, one of the number one excuses you're going to get is when, oh, I don't have time to talk to anybody. And the thing is, is I don't want to talk to anybody. So you just tell them, listen, hold on. This is not going to be a long press process. Hold while I see if I can get them on the line. Hold while I see if I can get one minute of their time. Okay? So that's where we're going if we get stuck, stuck folks. Phil felt found. That's the exact same reason. Um, and I was advised not to answer any questions. And that's what's really good with those reds. Okay, because they understand systems and, you know, when they start kind of questioning you, they want to know that if there's some authority that's, that, that they're talking to the next person. Okay, I was advised not to answer any questions, really don't want to mess it up for you. Uh, that's Mr. Coach's job. He's the expert here. Um, again, he's extremely busy. Hold while I see if I can get one minute of his time. Just click. I'm not waiting for the answer. Okay, some of us are waiting for answers. We want permission to get our expert on the line, okay? Again, it kind of goes back to belief and how, how much you believe in what you're doing and the opportunity that you have to, folks, to, to offer folks. And that, uh, that gives you a posture, a certain posture about yourself. And when you hold on to your posture, dude, when you get the right posture in this business, you're gonna blow it up. And I just wanna help you get that posture straight away. So understand, this is a builder's mindset, folks. Utilize the three foot rule. Anybody within three foot, uh, within three feet of you, you want to let them know what you're doing. So a lot of times that involves having a business card, a digital biz digital business card, or what have you. But you need something professional to um, give someone or leave behind, and that also aids in your ability to be able to get a telephone number from them as well. Understand that it's all about a series of exposures. It's a funnel. We're putting people into the process. Okay, stay excited. Work from a list of process, prospects, approach and peak interest. That's what it's all about. Make up in numbers what you lack in skill, okay? And that's a Jim Rome, um, uh, one of his, one of, one of his um, philosophies there, if you will. I make up in numbers what I lack in skill. So that's why you want to have a large list, okay? Because I guarantee you, you go through the first 10, you might get one. You go through the second 10, you might get one. You go through the third 10, and guess what? You get two. And that's just simply because you're getting better, okay? And you're just getting better. So again, stay systemic, okay? Make up in numbers what you lack in skill, all right? And here again, use the team. Use the team systems, folks. Wealth Builders Worldwide, follow the system, okay? Begin with the end in mind. Remember, the end is just moving your person to the next exposure. So you begin, how do I move my person to the landing page, to the uh, webinar, to the briefing. How do I move my person to that next, um, next exposure? Always prospect and grow your, pro grow your list through prospecting, okay? Um, grow your own list and help grow the list of your teammates. And prospecting is very simple, folks. I'm gonna share this with you. You know, I'm always, I don't go out to prospect, I'm prospecting while I'm out. So if I'm meeting somebody, I'm at the gas station, I see somebody has a sharp vehicle over there and I just approach them, hey man, listen, I like the, that vehicle, man. What color is that? Wow, money green, wow, money green is my favorite color. Hey, listen, you may or may not be interested, man, but I'm here, uh, me and my partners are in the area, we're looking to uh, expand our business, but I'd like to share a quick video with you, a website uh, with you, and uh, in hopes that you could take a look at a video. If I shared this video with you, you think you could take a look at it, um, say tomorrow, by, by noon tomorrow? Uh, sure, sure, I can do that. Great. Well, listen, here's my here's my um, website. Let me get your name real quick. And I'll pull my phone out, my note, okay? If you got a digital um, a digital business card, okay, you're shooting, the, shooting them the card, you need their number to do that, right? Okay, but I have my note here, and I, I'm kind of old-fashioned, so I like to write things down. So I just pull my little pen out, and I'm like this, ready to write. I just asked them, I gave them, I asked them a question and a command. I'm, I'm asking for their telephone number and their name and their con contact information. So I'm going to sit like this until I get it. The first person that speaks loses. Okay. Um, so I'm not going to speak. I'm going to stay just like this until they feel comfortable to give me their number. And a, a key to, um, the key to prospecting is also understanding that you have to be professional. You have to be comfortable. A person is only going to be as comfortable with you as you are with them. All right, so always uh, prospect to grow your business. Understand that the warm, the, the, understand the warm, the rule of warm market. 
the rule of thumb is we only work cold market to get to more warm market folks. So you, you, I might prospect somebody on, on, at the gas station that's a cold market um, prospect, but I'm really prospecting him to get to his warm market leads. I want to get to his list. Okay, that's what I want to do. I want to get to his list. All right, so that's, that's one of the biggest rules here. Uh, perfect the skills of tap rooting. And that's working through your team to find the aces. That's working through the list of folks to get to the other people, okay, on there. So that's um, what I'm excited about, folks. And I, I'm going to share this last little concept with you. And then we're going to go ahead and call it a night. And I want to wish you all much, much success in building your business. But this is the building prospects process. It starts with prospects. We're putting them in a funnel. And in this funnel, what they do is they get what they need in order to see what this business is all about. Because they may not, you know, some are going to see it the first time around. Okay, boom, I like what I see. I'm ready to sign up. Okay, some of your best affiliates in the business are going to be ones that join your business next year, two years from now. So it's important that one, you're here two years from now, but two, it's important that you hang in the game. Because if you're like me, if you, you're prospecting somebody like me, I need to know that you're not going to be jumping around from deal to deal, that you're going to be here and be committed to this company and to this business and to this team and follow the system. I need to know that. If I don't feel like that, guess what? This red is not, it has no chance of being a part of your organization. So it starts here with prospects. You put them in this funnel. When they say no to me, okay, great. I understand that this isn't for everybody. Um, who do you know that might be interested? Well, listen, hey, listen, I, I understand it's not for you. Um, but, but John, let me ask you a quick question. Is it okay if I keep you informed of how well this is working for me? Sure. You just let him off the hook. Sure, sure. You can keep me informed. So guess what? He goes into this funnel with everybody else that, that, is, that I'm looking to move through the exposure process. Three to five exposures. I'm trying to build a rapport with John now, okay? So now, John said it's okay to keep him informed. I'm not going to call him up every day, every week. This is the importance of having a, long, a large list, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to call him back like next month, and I'm going to say, hey, John, how you doing? This is Al. Hey, look, man, how the kids doing? They're doing all right? Good, good, good. Listen, I was just giving you a call to let you know. You said it was okay for me to keep you informed. Just wanted to let you know, you know, last month was my first month in the business. I was able to achieve the five and five fast track business. It gave me a free promotion to the next level. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm saving gold right now. I'm so happy that I'm able to transfer this, this fiat currency into a real asset. And things are just going really, really well for me with respect to this business. But um, now, so, so how's the wife? Tell me, tell me a little bit about what's going on with you, you know, and that's it. I'm not going to try to even move them to another exposure at this point because they said they weren't interested at all. I'm building rapport. I need them to see what's happening with me and then I'm gonna let them go. Then maybe next month I call them back up again. Same approach. So we, and here we just nurturing folks. This is like the womb. Okay. This is like the womb. It takes nine months for the baby to move through the womb and come through and come, get spit out. So in here, I spit out, I'm sorry about that. But um, the process though, folks, is just moving people. They go into this funnel, they, they're thinking about the process. We move them from the, the landing page to a live briefing, to a webinar. Maybe you had a one-on-one, -on -one, two-on-one, -on -one, sit down with them, uh, but we're moving them through the process. Let me check my time here. Okay, good. And three to five exposures, boom, they pop and they're ready to come on out of there and you've got a new affiliate on your team, okay? Respect the process, folks. Here's the thing, keep 10 in play. A minimum of 10 people that are in decision mode, meaning they've had, they have all of the information, they've, they've uh, seen the land, your landing page, they've been out to a live presentation, they are ready to say yes or no. And the thing is, you wanna move them from yes or no. So if they say yes, now it's time to get them on a fast track training like this, right? Get them started. Then if they say no, they, what do they do? They go back into the funnel, okay? So with that folks, I definitely appreciate each and every one of you for giving me um, a little bit of time out of your day. Um, I hope I wasn't too excited and um, didn't dilute the information any. Uh, but what we're gonna do at this point is, I think we have an hour here. So we've got about 11 minutes. And Mr. Dalco, if you wanted to open up or if we could open up for some Q&A, 
uh, I, I would be open for that. Some Q and A about um, this particular training, not about coins or anything else. Yeah, very good, Mr. Murray. If you stop your screen share before we take some questions, for sure, folks, you can go ahead and type in some questions in the Q and A before I uh, actually start answering questions. I've just got to pause for a half a second here and just say this was one of the best trainings I've attended in a long time and for a lot of reasons. One is networking just brings out the best in leadership. The leadership just shows up and, and that's one of the reasons why I love this industry and taught one of the millions of lessons Ty Best taught me is you should be involved in a networking company because you find gold jewels in depth. I would have probably never met Mr. Al Murray without network marketing. And so we would have not had this level, this in depth of training. I, I, it felt like Al Murray could have ran straight through three hours of this stuff and not broken sweat. And so Mr. Murray, I just got to pause for half a second here, say thank you very much. That was amazing. I'm monitoring the chat room and, and I, one little thing too, this, this will be a little training for you guys. So I'm watching Facebook. We didn't share this on Facebook. We don't stream our trainings on Facebook. And I'm watching some team members and they're doing some activity on Facebook. So I looked for their names in the panel in the attendees list and they're not in here. And I, and I typed on Facebook, you guys probably missed one of the most important trainings of the year tonight if you weren't on Gold Rocks. I don't know what it is about human beings, but we get in this trend of thinking we don't need a training. In Wealth Builders, I'm telling y'all right now, there are so many high-level trainers, you can't afford to miss a, a Sunday night. You just can't. We're bringing, me and Mr. Best talked about this, we've got these stacks upon stacks of gold directors. We're bringing them out into this platform to teach you guys how they did it. And Mr. Murray poured it on thick tonight so once again, Mr. Murray, top notch training. I could not have done it. I, I retire. It's all your platform, my brother. You got this. And then the last thing is I want to introduce our senior partner, the gentleman who got this whole thing rolling. And I love it when he says he must be some sort of guru or savant. Look at him, how he brought Al Murray into the team, right? Al Murray might be 20 generations away from time best. That's the power of networking. So over to our senior partner, the phenomenal, and I do mean it in every syllable of that word, the phenomenal. Traveling all over the world again, he and his beautiful girlfriend, Ms. Valerie Best, traveling around the country now, inspiring people. I was watching their live stream. Everything about this business jacks me up like I'm starting over again. Mr. Ty Best, good evening to your senior partner and mentor. Hey, thank you, Mr. Dalco. And look, I'm going to say everything you just said about Mr. Murray. Man, let me tell you something, brother. You didn't push me to retirement. You kicked me into retirement, stepped on me, locked the door and said, don't come out. You don't need to even be here. I mean, I'm just, I felt like I was like um, a neophyte in the industry. I said, I, I mean, you were so clear. I mean, I can remember making these points but not that clearly ever in 35 years. I'm just going, I mean. That's a gift. That's a man, gift, Mr. Um, man. Look, brother, I might tell you, he, he retired? No, Mike, you can't retire. One of us going, look, I don't want to train no more. I, I, I was embarrassed. I, I was embarrassed thinking about my training compared to what you just said. I've been, and then I'm thinking about, how, let me tell you guys something. If you see this thing, you don't understand that you tap into all this talent, that it ain't about you. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm embarrassed to think about how I've been training. When I watched this, I said, Mike, not it, but could be one of the best. That might have been the best fundamental training I've ever seen in five years in Caribbean. I'm with you. Mike, we get paid. We don't. <laughs> I'm like, I'm saying to myself, Mr. Bear, I'm not, this is not an old edification thing, man. I'm just, you know, here, Jack, I'm going, I said, whoa, how clear was when you broke down the list thing, I don't take it. Make a list, put it on list 90.6 and breathe I'm done training. I don't think I got to break it down for you anymore. Okay? I mean, I said everybody, what part of everybody don't you understand? Then you go, you ain't even put all your family on the list. I said, oh, crap. They don't. They don't. They don't. Okay. 
Let me calm down. I'm I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Look, let me tell you get let me tell you guys this. I'm gonna tell you something else is happening right now. I'm gonna be quiet. I got I got I got another train to do at 10 o'clock. I don't even know what to tell the people. <laughs> I the train was an hour ago, man. I don't know what this conference call is all about. But look, let me tell you guys this. This is how, this is the third meeting in a row I have done. Where somebody walked into the meeting and they saw their friend and they went, oh, I mean, this is yep. the third meeting in a row I have done. I'm talking about Elizabeth City. In Hampton, Virginia, Elizabeth City, somebody walking in the meeting and seeing somebody that they'd already prospected, okay, in the meeting. And either they, or me, not, not prospect, not prospect, they had them on their chicken list. Or they didn't put them on the list, but they've been thinking about them, but they never went and wrote their name down on the list to remember. Because you're going to forget all these folks. You can't have all this stuff in your head. You got to write a list. You got to write it. And then when you broke down, that's your inventory for launching your business. I said, Jesus Christ, what an analogy. I mean, you folks go back and my, I don't know how much this you take, but I'm just saying to you. I think Murray. Mr. Murray recorded it all. Did you not, Mr. Murray? All right, when you get that MP4, send it to me so we can put this on Wealth Builders. This well, I'm just telling you, I'm just telling you, it's, it's, it's over. What you just did there was for a new person. I'm gonna be quiet, man. Let's put this on I had to. I had to I had to shrink him down to an hour. I mean, when we were doing our pre-briefing for tonight's training, it was like we literally were taking stuff out just so he could get this much in within an hour. Well, I, look, there's a reason. See, look, I, took, I keep telling you guys, I'm going to say this, I'm going to be quiet. I had to be on this train at 10 o'clock and that's 6 minutes. What time is it? 9.59? Yeah. I, I've said, Mr. Duggan heard me say, since, what I've said, Mr. Duggan, if you don't care who gets the credit, oh. you're going to get rich. There you go. If you don't get who gets the credit, who bring it, I said, people call me ideas all the time. I said, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You go produce. You take your good idea to the marketplace, and you produce, and I'll be the first one to step aside and say, I'm going to shut up. Now, will you teach them what you just did? Okay, in this particular case, I'm going to tell people, look, look, great. You need to go back and listen to that training. It's going to be on Wealth Builders Worldwide by Mr. Alvin Murray. That'll help you get started. Why did you uh, go back and listen to that training by Mr. Murray and that'll help you get started? You don't need to hear it from me, okay? Even though I, I understand some things, but man, you you have a gift. You are a teacher amongst teachers. Honestly, the truth. My hat's off to you. My hat's off to you. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I, that's, that's not an over edification thing. That's just the flat out truth. I was blown away, man. Thank you. So I, I mean, you, not only was that, you gotta understand. Let me, let me last thing I'm gonna say. You gotta have some skill set to keep my attention. Okay, because I, I got other stuff to be doing. And when I tune in, I sit like, I mean, I'm sitting like, I'm taking notes, I'm going, dog, that was a good story. That was good. Oh, that was good. I know he put it. And I mean, next time it's an hour, I gotta go. Brother, you're a teacher among teachers. That's a gift. I, I can tell a I can tell a joke, I can tell a story, I can inspire. But I am not a teacher nowhere in the caliber that you are. I'm mean, that's incredible, man. I God I bless. was literally telling Monisha sitting right here, I was saying his pace, his tone, his articulation, it was just, in my opinion, perfect. So again, I know, Mr. Murray, we spread it on real thick edification, but I'm grateful and thankful for your skill set tonight. Uh, Ms. Tanisha Glassby, I want to turn this part over to you. Let's take about 15 minutes and do some Q&A. If you can read the questions to Mr. Murray and we'll let him answer them. Guys, only ask questions in this glass. We only read the questions that are pertinent to what he taught on tonight. We're not going to ask questions about the coins or the, the claiming bonuses or trading on carrot bit, any of that. All those things will have their time. Stay plugged in, guys. This is a marathon. Tonight, we're going to answer questions on the material that was trained by Mr. Mr. Murray. Uh, over to you, Ms. Glassby. All right. Amazing training, Mr. Murray. Um, the first question is, will the profit packages count towards the fast track or is it only the business packages? Um, that's a good question. Um, I'll be quite honest with you. I, I, I can say yes and no. I'm not 100% clear on that. I will tell you this. Um, when I hit five and five, um, I actually did it through sales. So the profit package is a part of um sales 
So it may be included in that as well. So that's what I would, when I first got started in the business, um, I got started because of the coin and we were helping people acquire this coin. And I, I didn't even know what fast track was. And I just got an email that I earned a free upgrade to the next level wow. and I accomplished it. And I, and I went to Mr. Roach and I was like, what just happened? You know? And he said, Oh, well you just hit five and five. You must have five people you know, signed up at your level or higher. And I was like, no, I don't, you know, and we went back and it was through sales. So Mr. Dalco, maybe you can answer that a little bit better. No, no, you nailed it. That was it. Okay, okay good stuff. The profit packages do count in the five and five as well. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Dalco, you mentioned that, for instance, if they miss the five and five, say you get the bronze package and you miss your five weeks. If you upgrade to silver, your five and five starts over again. So you That's can then correct. get five people to get a silver package or higher and you can get a free upgrade to gold. And that's what the profit package is. Exactly. Good ad, Mr. Nish. I appreciate that. Next question. Would you consider putting this training on YouTube? Uh, well, it we're going to... Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, it will be on Wealth Builders Worldwide. YouTube page. So if you log into your Wealth Builders Worldwide account, at the top right hand corner of the page, you'll see an arrow and a cloud. If you click on the arrow, it will take you to Wealth Builders Worldwide YouTube page. It will be there. It takes time to download, so give it some time to download, let them upload it, but it will be back there. Can you set up your auto exchange with your MasterCard? Not yet. Three-way call. If there is not consistent ghost communication from the person that invited you to care of ours, who can you get to do three-way calls for you if you do not know anyone? That's a great question. What you, one of the things that I always like to do in this business, and I try to teach the affiliates to do, you want to you wanna introduce every new, a new person to five or six upline members, okay? So, if the person that you bought 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 into the business, let's just say for whatever reason, they're, they're taking a little hiatus, you have somebody else to work with. So just find that next person up. They'll be willing to work with you. And you just go up until you find that person that's there for you. Will the new Gladiator form be available on Wealth Builders Worldwide? It's it already, there. already It's already yes, there. That's why you always want to check. Continue to look back there because things are always changing it's been back there for a while though when an affiliate signs up now but doesn't buy a package are they grandfathered into the offering at the time that they became an affiliate or do they receive the current offering of the package at the time that they buy they'll get the package at the time that they buy they lock in a position as a blue dot affiliate um anything that happens under them is kind of locked in but when they choose to buy a package, they buy the package and get that based upon the deal that's going on at that particular point in time. Did Mr. Bustin' Loose read all those books behind him? <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I, I do read a lot of books, but not all of these. <laughs> uh you all please type complete sentences because I don't know what you're asking if you don't type a complete sentence. Is it, it just says, can you repeat that again? And we not, have no idea what you were referring to. Is the 4% unilevel bonus on Bronze Director a one-time bonus or does it remain until you hit the next level? I'll defer that to you, Mr. Dalco. Yeah, we didn't really train on rankings tonight, but that's a that's a good question. I'll, I'll answer that. So in the directors, when you reach director, you have to hit that position every month. It is no grandfathering in the director levels, and I like that. That makes you hustle. But here's the thing. I, I'm going to have Mr. Murray to come back. Mr. Murray, if you could come back next week, maybe train on some comp plan stuff and, and rankings, maybe because I love the way you guys in D.C. all It's like D.C.'s got this spirit hovering over it of excellence i mean team freedom team union they they just everything they do is so systematic and so well structured and they they talk about like shelby casey always talks about the the auto exchange and trying to get a gram a week but at worst case grandma mom, they add up how many team members and how many grams and how many units how many contracts they nail it they just they knock those positions out they nail it 
is they they don't throw stuff up against the wall, you know, just tell some folks, let's see what happened. No, they are they, they are scientific about how they approach the business. It should be predictable. And they can and you can tell they just go to both teams, Team Freedom, Team Union, just go directors, line up, right? And so with bronze director, none of us, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just go, I'm gonna give it to you straight, no chaser. No wealth builder should be below bronze director. No, not one. Because if you're following these trainings to the T and you're following the map and you're actually engaged in building and, a, and contacting your list, multiple exposures, like, oh man, there's so much to talk about. Let me let me get my head together. Posting on Facebook five, six, seven, eight times a day, doing trainings with your new affiliates two, three, four, five times a week. Calling people on your list, texting people, meeting new people in the street, handing out your digital card, getting your contact, your uh, capture page out to people via text message, following up and doing your follow. When you do the stuff Mr. Murray taught tonight, three-way calls. How many three-way calls you doing with your upline? You doing one a week? You're going to struggle. But if you're rocking that thing and lining up three ways and setting appointments, Browns director is so easy. Miss Miss Tanisha Glasby, tell them about the people on your team who have already qualified. And what are we, six, seven days into the new, 10 days into the new pay cycle? Yes, sir. The um, Everyone that's been doing the launch parties, several of them have already hit bronze director just a week into the new pay period. Not hard. This is not hard. Set up launch parties for your affiliates. You do them yourself. Don't just wait for us to do them. Mr. Delco showed us how to do it so we could do it ourselves. Don't depend on us to do it. Along, along with those launch parties too, um, one of the things I really like is, are the, the private goal receptions. And we really need to make sure that we're getting back into those and getting those set up uh, within the first week no later than two weeks within a new affiliate getting started in their business, because that's one way to really um, grow the business. And, you know, when you, you have an affiliate that's used to inviting people over to their home, you know, so folks feel comfortable. And it, generally those are close friends and family members. So that's why they need to be on that list. There was a question in the chat bar. Please type your questions in the Q&A box so we can see them. I can't find it, but it had something to do with her not knowing who her sponsor is or her sponsor not being plugged in. What should she do? Again, just move up. You, you want to move up the line. Um, reach out to some of the folks that are on these trainings. That's why we, we are constantly on um, the Wealth Builders Worldwide Facebook page. You can find you know, it's not uncommon for people to call some of the leaders and folks that you see plugging in there and, and we work with them even though they're not a part of our own direct lineage. Yeah, and, and guys, another thing too is six days a week, we're doing a mentorship session on Power Call. So dial into the Power Call, listen to the, don't come to the Power Call at 11, come at 10.45, 10.43. If on Wednesdays, you need to get there at 10.30, because Miss Sherry Brown, she be, she be playing the hits, baby. She be playing the oldies. So you need to get on Wednesday, you need to get there at 1030. But on regular days, you need to get there about 1043. So you can be at the very, very first word of the pre-call. And then listen through that. Then listen to the commentary. All right. And then get in the queue and ask your question right there. Ask it in the Q&A portion. I know, I know we do our shout outs and that's fine. Trust me now, I'm not kicking against the culture, but please understand that as we grow, we, there used to be 30 people on the power call. Then there were 80, then there were 120, and now any given day there's four to 500 people, three, four, 500 people on the power call. And so to open the queue to 500 excited people, that's a daunting task in itself. I don't know how the moderators manage that, but they do a masterful job. So. Rather than just get in the queue and say, I'm lending my voice to the call, shout out to my homies, Au, that's fine. But if you've got a real question, ask it. Bring it right there, ask it. You got Al Murray on the call, Mr. Amazing's on the call. When they come behind you in queue, they might add some value to that question. 
You've got all the moderators listening in. Mr. Best and Mrs. Best are there. Take advantage of these, of these jewels. They're all right there for you six days a week. And then if you can't find your sponsor, we've got a lot of sponsors that have run off chasing shiny objects and they're, they're making their way back with their tails tucked, tucked between their legs and they're, they're getting on the call and they're nervous about it. They don't want to be seen because they're embarrassed because they left. But that's okay. You show up and be big. They're going to find you. Ask through, ask through us. Say, you know, we'll say, who is your sponsor? We'll type in their username. Nope, they're not in my group. Mr. Best, they're in your group. Yeah, there they are. Who's up line from there? Oh, okay, Al Murray's up there. Let's see if Al knows him. We'll find him. We will find him. Seek and you shall find. Back to you, Ms. Glass. Um, I want to add, if you don't feel comfortable doing the launch parties yet, just learn, continue to get on them and learn. But it yeah. really helps when you do individual ones for your oh. personal people so instead of just getting on and it's 200 people on just watching you want to do it have it personalized like the one mr delco did last night was for columbia he had them on the screen so it, they felt like it was just for them which it was but we invite everybody to everything so do try to do it individually versus just inviting everybody and they don't feel like it's just for them uh what is a launch party <laughs> So that's so, a question in the chat bar. Let me jump in on that question real quick. So I'm tempted, but I know it will be a nightmare, Ms. Glassby. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your, your upline should have a copy of the slides and every day we're adding a little bit more because or refining it a little bit more and it's getting better and better. And Ms. Glassby has a, has a, a, a different little spin on hers and I have a different one on mine, but it's the same content. So you can get the slides from your upline, reach upline, and ask for those slides. I would say put your email in the chat, but I will get 300 emails. And right, that's going to be a headache. Yeah, <laughs> so just reach upline, and, and guys, if you've got the slides, send them to your leaders, and leaders send them to your leaders, and we should be able to get these to everybody within a week. Yes. Can you recommend a source for digital business cards? Yes, uh, I use one haystack. But look, I'm gonna give y'all something better than even hey, Haystack is cool. I'm not gonna say better. So Haystack, the app looks like this. Maybe I'll give it a minute to adjust. See the little blue icon? The one beside it is Inigo. Inigo is going through some challenges. Uh, they're gonna be transacting some, changing some stuff. But that one, Haystack, that blue one with the little tan Haystack, that's a digital business card. Uh, LFI by SG, Ramon said, that's a good one, Elify, E-L-I-F-Y. Thank you so much, Ramon. Elify by Shuffle, oh, okay. Elify, E-L-I-F-Y by Shuffle. These are digital business cards. I'll give you something equivalent if you don't wanna go through all that downloading and apps and trying to keep manage how to use it and learning curves. Get a capture page. Your capture page is your digital business card. Get a capture page. And when you talk to a person and they say, yes, they're interested, you say, great, what's your cell phone number? I'm gonna text you a link for the information. You just capture their number, type their name in there, save it in your contact list, and write Carrot Bars Prospect in their description. And when you go on back through your prospects, just type Carrot Bars Prospect, it'll pull them all up in a list. At least it does on Team iPhone. I don't know what y'all Android people do. Uh, that was a little shade right there, I apologize. Not really. Um, and anyway, I'm K-Phone. I don't care about iPhone. I'm K-Phone now, baby. Go. It's going down. Okay, well, look. You send them your capture link and follow up. So get that capture page. The capture page is more valuable than a digital business card. That thing is game changer. Mm. Get that capture page. Back to you, Ms. Glasper. I also like um, Mr. Williams. He did the design for my card, and I just took a picture of the design, and I inboxed that to people as well. If yes. you don't want to actually have cards printed, you could just have him create a design for you. Charges right. fifty dollars for that. Um, a mother wants to open a gold savings account for her special needs son. Is she the trustee of his account? Is he over eighteen? That's my first question. So, if he's over eighteen. Say it is politically correct. If he has a photo ID, a state issued ID, a passport, 
maybe not a driver's license if he's special needs, but if he has a state issued ID of some sort, photo ID, and you can open a bank account in his name and use that as your KYC document, you can start that account for him. You don't have to be a trustee or anything. They don't ask for your social security number at carrot bars. They need a legitimate photo ID and a legitimate uh, proof of address document. And that person is in the business. They have an account and you can order for them. Hey, look, I built, I have five children. I built both legs and manage all five of those accounts. So yes, yes, and yes. All right, that was the last question. Right at 15 minutes, that is amazing. Tanisha Glassby, superstar, thank you very much. I appreciate you, Mr. Murray. We're gonna give you last word and let you close this out. Well, um, I definitely appreciate the opportunity to be on this platform and share this information for all of those. The best way that you can, you know, just help me realize um, that you appreciate the information is to utilize it. Um, and I also will say this because I feel the pain that whoever that the quest, whoever asked the question about being able to um, find someone to do three-way phone calls, it's important that you continue to reach up and find that person that's within your line because I guarantee you this, um, for me and knowing the, the number of folks that I have involved in, in this organization and the depth that I have, um, I would be quite perturbed if there was a person that needed it three ways that was a part of my team and did not and felt as though they did not have anybody to use. So I guarantee you, regardless of where you are in the business, um, you can find probably 10, 20, 30, even more uh, folks that are willing uh, within your team structure to do three way phone calls with you. It's just a matter of you finding those people and as affiliates, that's why we need to make sure that we're introducing our new people to their to the folks around them. I know, you know, my sponsor, Lewis Young. I know who sponsored him, Tony Dublin. I know, you know, I, I, I know the lineage there. So and I have all of their numbers. So um, I just encourage any and everyone to do that. Folks, I appreciate each and every one of you. Focus on the list. If you're on the call and you're not a new affiliate, learn the fundamentals of being able to do conduct a three-way phone call if you can do those three-way phone calls i'm trying to tell you you can make as much money in this business as you want you can help as many people in this business as you want so with that folks i appreciate each and every one of you god bless you and good night